are beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in on this random October Monday. Now, earlier this week, I was contacted by idonna.eu and they asked me if I would like to try some of their instruments out. Now, they sell a whole host of instruments on their website and they are ridiculously affordable. Um, so I couldn't say no to this. <laughs> Being me, curious, inquisitive, hoarder of instruments, that's resulted in me owning the lyre harp, numerous Native American flutes and exotic key whistles, um, a pocket saxophone, an ocarina, a hang drum, a rainmaker. And to add to that collection this week, I have three new wind instruments to show you courtesy of idonna.eu. Now they've also been kind enough to offer me a selection of discount codes that I can share with you guys, um, and they are vast. You guys can use the discount code CUTIEPIE to get 15% off anything on their website, CUTIEPIE30 to get 30% off any acoustic guitar collections for those guitar players out there, and today if you use CutiePie 25 on the 25th of October, you guys can get 25% off anything on the website. So if you guys are interested, you'll find those links in the description below, and of course, a link to the website. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not getting um, commissions for this. It's not an affiliate program. It's just discounts for you guys and free stuff for me. So when they reached out to me, I was able to select a few things from their website that I thought you guys would like to see, and I thought might be useful to help me build backing tracks and things for the videos that I create on YouTube and the covers I make with Tin Whistle and Low Whistle. So of course, my first choice had to be the E-Star Recorder. Now this is the first time I've owned a recorder since playing music here on YouTube. I did play one as a child. I do have one probably somewhere in the attic. Um, but this I loved for the ridiculous color of it. <laughs> it's quite a simple and basic soprano recorder. It has a little thumb rest on the back here, obviously the thumb hole that recorders have, and the nice shaped traditional recorder style mouthpiece. Um, I don't actually know a lot about playing recorder because, as I said, I haven't really played it since I was a child, but there is a useful fingering chart that comes with this, and also some sheet music on the back for a few tunes. Edelweiss, The Tale of the Sacred Mountain, and Shusana. So uh, yeah, if you guys wanted to start out with recorder, that might be a cheap and easy way to go. Obviously, as I don't play any of these kinds of instruments, I'm not the best judge of the quality of these instruments, but if you're starting out and you want to start somewhere really affordably, then I don't think you can go wrong with these instruments because they've arrived, they sound good, they look good, they feel good, and I'm really, really pleased with them. Um, this little recorder also came with this cleaning stick so you can uh, pop a cloth through there and wipe the inside of your recorder dry just to keep it nice and clean and safe and tidy. Um, I'll play something on it, but again, as I said, I've not looked into how to play this yet. So hopefully with a bit more time, I'll be able to play you a nice recorded tune. But for now, here's just a little idea of how this sounds. <laughs> Now the second instrument I picked up was this gorgeous concert flute. Um, I'm very excited about this one, it took me ages to work out where to put my fingers, but it sounds amazing. It actually came in this gorgeous little carrying case. Um, it's perfectly laid out to support and keep your flute safe when you finish playing. It came with all sorts of little items to help you care for your flute, such as little gloves for handling. Uh, a cleaning rod and some additional uh, cloths to wipe down the inside of the flute as well. It also came with a drying stand, a little screwdriver to make adjustments if needed, and some ends as well because the flute comes into three parts and these just keep the ends protected when you store this away. For anybody who plays transverse flute, there are keys on this which differs greatly from Irish flute and obviously tin whistle, but once you get your fingers in place, it's kind of easy to play.
final instrument is the one I'm probably most excited about, which is crazy. And it came in this nice little carry bag. It came with a selection of accessories that you can attach to it. And it is the melodica. Now the melodica is a basically a piano keyboard. Um, it's kind of a mix between a piano and a harmonica, so you still blow it. So you can attach these uh, little pieces to the end here, and you can blow this in a selection of ways. There is a little strap on the back so you can pop your hand in, and you can play whatever you like. <laughs> And the reason I was excited about this is because it's essentially a way of creating chords for backing tracks for my personal use that um, still has the expressive element that you get with a wind instrument and the flexibility that you have by having all these notes that you can play at the same time. So there are a few different attachments. You can also use one of the tube attachments, which means you can put this down in front of you like a keyboard and play with two hands and just blow through the mouthpiece. Now, because of this chord ability of this instrument, I have been working on something that I can use for um, the cover I'm doing for Halloween, which could be my Jolly Sailor Bold. Um, so because it's got that sort of spooky feel to it, this is absolutely perfect for just making some undertone chords to go along with any tune that you're thinking of playing. <laughs> One of the other things I love about the melodica is the fact that you can use your breath to create expression within the instrument without needing to use your fingers. So for example, just by pressing on one note and fluctuating the type of air and the amount of air that I put into this instrument, I get different effects. So I'll give you an example. That is all I wanted to show you guys today. Some of the craziness that goes on behind the scenes here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do want to try out any instruments at stupidly affordable prices, they seem pretty good quality from what I can tell. Um, and obviously they all make quite a great sound. They're actually pretty easy to play as a relative newcomer to instruments. And if you're just starting out or whether you're following YouTube tutorials or whether you're getting lessons with a private tutor or whether you're getting online lessons via Zoom, instruments like this are always a really good starting place just to get in there at an affordable level and actually get started rather than waiting and waiting and saving up for the world's best instrument and never actually getting around to playing. Music is so much about having fun, being creative and expressive and yeah, the sooner you get started the more fun you guys can have. Don't forget, if you want to check out what they have available on idonna.eu, you'll find their website linked in the description below, along with the discount codes that I mentioned earlier. Again, they're in the description, so do make use of those. I look forward to using these instruments in some videos coming up. You will see them, I'm very sure. Have a great week. I'll see you again on Wednesday, Friday and Sunday this week. So uh, until then, have a break from me. Bye, guys.